Well, hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. My name is Mitchell Osborne. You can find me at MitchellOsborne.com. This is your energy forecast for March 1st through the 7th, 2020. Yes, it is March. Um, I'm recording this on, actually it's March 2nd because I usually do Monday to um, Sunday. So March, <laughs> March 2nd to the 8th. We're also still in Mercury retrograde through the 10th, so that could be the communication issue I'm having right now. Um, so uh, thank you. Let's dive in to see what we can expect this week energy-wise, how you can best navigate it, and what you might be able to you know, learn or grow or manifest from that. So the first card is what can you expect, and I'm using the Tarot of Dreams from Tudor Marchetti. What can you expect? Queen of Swords, she came up recently in my daily post. You know, she is definitely a feisty one who speaks her truth, um, very much Libra energy. You can see the Libra sign at the bottom. So oftentimes she's trying to find the balance. Libra rules the hips, so we're looking for the balance in things. Um, and sometimes when things are all beautiful, wonderful, and perfect, she'll throw a wrench into things just he or she will throw a wrench into things just so they can rebalance things. So this week you can look for that energy of you know trying to find balance or um, you know people or things you know communicating stuff that's going to bring about balance or you know like I just said it may be where they throw things off just so that they can have something to do again which is rebalance. How can you best navigate this energy this week? Six of Swords, get away from it. Aquarius energy, move away from it. You know a couple of us have been talking about there are a lot of swords right now coming up um, in a lot of readings and especially collective ones. So move away from, you know, that which is not pleasant, that which is not fun. Um, don't engage, you know, don't, you know, don't do the argument dialogue. I, I'll never forget as a child, like five, six, seven years old, getting my hair cut. And there was always, I always saw this one little sign. It was like a little cartoon way up high. And I remember it said, you know, when you argue with a fool, a passerby cannot tell the difference between the two of you. <laughs> and I just remember as a kid thinking, okay, that's good business. You know, no need to argue with someone, especially if you don't feel like you need to prove yourself right or you know what they're saying is just crazy and out there and you just feel more stable. But sometimes our ego gets in the way. We want to prove things. We want to change their mind. So how can you grow? What might you learn? What you might be able to manifest this week? Wow, Knight of Swords, <laughs> which is Aquarius energy. So it's like, it's like you can move from... That Queen of Swords energy, Libra, you know, speaking that harsh truth sometimes. Um, even though it may be out of love, it might be harsh, but move away from it. That's what the cards are saying this week. Move away from that energy. It's not worth it. Maybe it's even gossip, you know, which again is throwing things out of balance, um, even though they probably think they're trying to bring it into balance. But the good thing is, is as you move away from it, Six of Swords, which is Aquarius, you move into more of that movement Knight of Swords, which is even more authentic Aquarius energy. At least I feel it is at this moment. So um, with a little bit of uh, with a little bit of Taurus, no, with a little bit of Aries energy. So um, hey, there's your message. <laughs> there is your message, and it's all Swords. But the biggest thing I keep seeing right here, and it's all Swords, so it's mental, it's logical, but more importantly, it's about moving away from things or movement. Period. So there you go. So, hey, um, I'm going to be on vacation soon. So from March 10th through the 27th, I've got a 20 plus spreads on my site that I'm doing a 20% discount. So um, the posts will start going. I, I've automatically posted them on my Animal Communication, Tara Reading, Mitchell Osborne Facebook fa Facebook page. Um, so you can see that, but you can just peruse the site from the 10th through the 27th. I will record them when I get back 28th, 29th, 30th of March before April hits. Um, what else was I going to talk about? There's something else I was going to say. Um, oh, get on my newsletter. I am I'm back. Going to be committed to that. At least that is my intention. And um, I talked about the energy of the month being a three month coming up as well as the energy of the year. Three is Empress, four, which is the month or the number of the year, that is Emperor. So get on my newsletter. Um, that was posted, Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook as well. So you can go grab that one, but also sign up for the newsletter so you get it each month. All right. Namaste. Have an amazing day. Thanks for sharing, retweeting, liking, putting that little bell on the YouTube channel to notify you when I do post a video. And uh, join me on a Sunday night at 7 p.m. for a mindfulness and or a, an animal communication. I alternate between the two until I'm on vacation. Namaste. Bye.